they came out like hard cake. Oh no! Today is the day that I learn how to make the best Yorkshire puddings ever. Could we potentially get the correct recipe the first time round? That's more like it. Oh, what? Part. Oh, oh, hello. sat here because I thought I would get like the Christmas tree in the backdrop but it's rather sunny so I can actually sit here and get the Christmas backdrop all is good keeping it festive what is my husband doing right now Making eggs. oh he's been in the garden training all morning sunning himself getting that winter sun Doing a bit of grounding. I saw ya. It's been for a cold dip. Hey, I've still been continuing with the cold dips, by the way, even though it's December and it is absolutely like bitter in that little pool at the bottom of the garden. I've not been doing it every single day like I was, but I've still continued with it and it is, oh gosh, I get out and my feet hurt so bad my hands as well but I've been trying not to like put my hands in this last couple of times because it just takes so long to warm up afterwards but I've still been doing it because I'm scared to stop in case it like gets in my head and then I can't pull it back and do it when January comes and that's when I really want to get like going with you know anyway it's not January yet so I won't bore you let's stick to Christmas vibes Nancy's at the side of me here dancing. Go get ready. Get that scruffy t-shirt off and go get ready. That you slept oh, yeah, in. I didn't see that. Yeah. What were you just gonna try and keep it on all day? She's a scruff. No, she's actually not a scruff. I'm not. No, she's not a scruff. She's been in chill vibe all morning. She's not been bit, like sleeping very good at the minute, have you, babe? No. Because she's got like a really bad um <coughs> cough. It's awful, it's so raw and dry. So it's been keeping you up, hasn't it? Go get your teeth done, get some clothes on and freshen yourself up. Um, but yeah, I've just made a coffee, coffee combination. Anyway, guys, festive, cosy, chill day, productive day at home. I want to try and make Yorkshire puddings today. Listen, I am a Yorkshire girl. I should know how to make Yorkshire puddings and I tried the other day and it was an absolute disaster they came out like hard cake basically so today is the day that I learn how to make the best Yorkshire puddings ever just because I want that under my belt I feel like it should be natural to me to be able to make Yorkshire puddings and I can't do it so that's on my list today in this cozy day at home and yeah some other things that will bring you along on washers going as always husband here who's had such like a wellness morning haven't you hon you've been doing your wellness routine all morning well, I saw you out there grounding and whatever Working. and now what's he uh, having what is that eggs and olives how many eggs are going in there four 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 eggs you want some eggs bad i'm a growing lad 
There we go. She is ready to go in there, I see. Don't look at my utensil that I'm using. No, okay. You want muesli? And then the ghost cheese. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Nancy likes muesli in a nice big cup, don't you? Yeah. Champion breakfast, that. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. Oh yeah, that is like up my street. Yeah. And then drizzled with a bit of extra virgin mm -hmm. olive oil, EVOO. -O. E nice. Oh, EVOO. -O. E EVOO. -O. <laughs> She's thinking I want a bit of goat's cheese. Yeah. Beep, beep. Ding, ding. That's our secret handshake. Oh no, she's eating it there. Usually takes it to a bed. We've got literally the busiest week approaching from tomorrow because it's our last week here before our travels to the UK. And Nancy's like stacked out with dancing and dance show rehearsals and coming to the end of school and we've got a pack and I'm really going to do work yeah Ryan's got all his um, I'm excited every day this week jobs to finish off so he's got happy clients for Christmas with beautifully finished houses mm. Mm. yeah I'm actually fitting a carpet next week wow that's been, been a while a blast from the past yeah that's where it all started I'm the only carpet fitter on the firm wow so. Ryan is like a row carpet fitter because that's where his trade originally started yes. so he's got a client who ordered a carpet and Ryan was like I can fit carpets I'll have to yeah. dust the old stretcher off yeah the question is guys will Seth want to make and decorate a gingerbread house today or will he be like no uh, I just can't predict it I don't know I've got two upstairs and yesterday I went and bought like loads of extra sweets and gummies so it'll either be Nancy and Seth or me and Nancy she's gonna be very very excited she doesn't know yet she's gonna be checking if there's no folks in the writing is she well, you better do it good then. Especially two, because we learnt to, but we've got to, have to write it. Oh. What's Seth got for breakfast in there? What is that? We've made him a special treat. Okay. Banana. Today it's banana, almonds, cashew nut butter, a bit of milk and cinnamon. cinnamon. Gorgeous. is I don't know if Seth will want to get involved or not. Gingerbread house. Nancy actually found it in the cupboard. She went rummaging. But she knew she'd done wrong so she's never asked about it. But I know she's been wondering. She probably thought, did you think it might be for Christmas? Yeah, I thought no. it was like the day after Christmas or something. No. I thought you could do it on like a festive day, like today. Where is it? Oh, I knew that you got them. Yeah, I got the sweetest to we've go on. Oh my god! We've got fake M and M's. Yeah. We have got marshmallows. I got more marshmallows. Oh yeah, I got coloured marshmallows as well. Well, I thought these were actually um, good for hot chocolates as well, obviously. We got some. Peanut M and M's. Well, M and M's. Yeah. We got all these things. And the little jellies oh, to stick on. Yeah, sprinkles. Sprinkles. What is this, though? That is the edible glue to stick the sweets on the gingerbread house ah. and stick the gingerbread house together. Some more of that because yes. you never can be Because I also got decorate your own cookies. 
Yeah, that's what's oh, in that Oh, is that form. what that is? Yeah. Yeah? Is that to hide the ingredients? What? Probably, they'll Look. be absolutely full of rubbish. Wait. Yeah. How do you get them? You can't even see the ingredients. I don't think I want to. Oh, I can see one ingredient. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Imagine just... Look. Yeah. Sugar and syrups and colourings, no doubt. But hey. Oh! Pages of them. Yeah. Yeah. They hid it. They hid it all. Maybe don't actually eat them, you know, just decorate with them. I don't think they'll actually taste nice. Ingredients. Sugar, rice, flour, rape seed. Rape seed oil. Rape seed oh. fat. Oh, rape seed fat. Oh, my God. Fully hydrated. Oh, my God, please stop. Please stop to give me anxiety. Sucre, farine de riz, huile de colza. Huile de colza totalement hydrogénée, amidon de pommes de terre colorant E133 à conserver dans une tempé température ambiante et à l'abri de la lumière du soleil à consommer de préférence avant le voir sur le bouchon fabriqué pour zébra à Mm, it's much easier for mommy to listen to in French. <laughs> I mean, how could you not want to get involved in this? Really? Close your eyes! Yeah. You don't look yet, though! We've got... What, what? Look at all this! Oh. We've got the edible glue. Gingerbread house to make each, and you can decorate it with all the sweets. Careful with it because it and may... it's got. Right, our third job would be an architect, architect but AI is just going to take And then oh. we've got. Well, we can we the room room room. Yeah, we're doing it in the um, oh, thingy yeah. on the table. Yeah, be careful because they will break if you drop them. Biscuit joint in. In joinery, a biscuit joint is a little tiny, what you think it is, like a little biscuit that you router in and then you put two pieces of wood together and it holds it together pretty strong. But today's biscuit joints are made of gingerbread cookies, if you'd like to see one just here, look. And cement. We had a breakage. Okay. And uh, we put a biscuit joint in. Oh, nice. Biscuit yeah. joint. Biscuit joint. Lovely. Mm. Stronger now than ever. It's a little bit darker in the evening because we actually had a quick run to our storage. We haven't got a storage unit, but we keep some things still at Ryan's brother's place in the basement. I wanted my scales so that I could make some Yorkshire puddings because when I've tried previously, I have just 
done it without actually measuring the ingredients, which is probably why I failed. But they were horrendous. Last time I tried to make them, I'll put a clip in here. Oh no! I need to do a bit of research, investigate. I mean, I did put my lard in the cups first and let it get really hot, but probably not hot enough. Even the dogs wouldn't eat them, would ya? Hey? Bread. Bread! <laughs> cake. Cake! Plain cake. <laughs> um, so this time I thought I would try an actual recipe. And what I'm going to do is try a few recipes until we get the perfect Yorkshire puddings and then the best Yorkshire puddings I'm obviously just going to save that recipe and always repeat it that's the one I will keep so a couple of tips for Yorkshire puddings um the fat in the in the cake tin has to be piping hot before you put your batter mixture in there another one is it's beneficial to let your batter mixture rest before you start um, and the first recipe that I'm going to try is the BBC Good Food Mary Berry's Yorkshire Puddings. I'm going to trust Mary. I'm going to trust her. I feel like she's made a lot of Sunday dinners in her time and we're going to go with hers first. So anyway, um, yeah, we went to the, the place where we store some of our stuff. I've got like boxes of kitchen items in there still because obviously this is only a small kitchen well my last house was a small kitchen as well but we just didn't bring all the stuff to this property um and i looked for my weighing scales and i could not find them yeah a big problem with having stuff stored away is that i just can't find stuff i feel like things have got lost no matter how good i packed and yeah moral of the story <clears throat> nipped to the shop to get some scales they didn't have scales all they had was this which apparently is going to be okay because there's the markers on there like even for the grams and the flour and things like that so i think we're going to be okay with this so i'm going to get my ingredients um measured out so this recipe i'll leave it linked down below it serves six and we need 100 grams of plain flour, a little bit of salt, three large eggs, milk and sunflower oil. Although I won't be using sunflower oil, I will be using extra virgin olive oil. So let's give it a go. Do you think we're going to get great Yorkshires? Yeah, I can't believe I've never tried to perfect this before, being a Yorkshire girl. It's not something I plan on eating in the future, even when I've perfected it, because it's just not really anti-inflammatory but i want to be able to make them i just want to be able to do it for the kids and yeah there we go this is what we're going for here we have got our cake tin ready put all the lard in there and i'm going to pop it in the oven and let it get piping hot like it says <laughs> grams of flour. Okay, I think the fat is like super hot and ready now. 
the mixture. Shall we give it a go? Oh, it sizzled, that means it's piping hot, yeah. get the correct recipe the first time round. Wow, they are growing and they've got like at least another 10 minutes left in there. Interesting, I am liking the look of those back ones. So nice, excuse me, can you just look at those Yorkshires and what they're doing? They're rising! They are, they <laughs> are. I think Mary Berry could potentially get it spot on first time. Josie, come in. Self, come on in. Or not then. Oh, I've done it. Yeah. It was How's it looking? Yeah. Yorkshire pudding update. They are, oh my gosh. Whoa. They're big. They're big. Literally, I can't believe it. I thought it was going to take me a good, you know, three goes to get the perfect ones. These are looking pretty fabulous. Stage two of the Yorkshires. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's more like it. Hey, for anybody who's like me and tries to swerve carbs wherever possible because they just spike your insulin, um, I actually really love turnip fries. So turnips, I think these are like your average turnips and these are golden turnips. Love both of them. So I like cut these into chips, skinny fries, well, whatever size you want them, coat them in seasoning and extra virgin olive oil and I pop them in the air fryer for about 20 minutes and they just come out like chips and obviously they've got very, very low carbs so that's what I will be having with my mints tonight. That's it's colour. Oh it is, it's going brown, that mints. You're doing good. shocked because my mum always struggled with Yorkshires she would always um, keep trying and like why aren't the rising and you just need to follow a recipe oh, hello look at those we've got the turnip fries a bit longer for those but look they just look like chips obviously they don't taste exactly like potato chips but they're really really lovely and super good for you get your turnips in you Oh, darling. 
you want three? No, two? no, 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 two, two each, two per person. Well, I'm not having, well, I might just have the smallest one. So I've got turnip fries, you've got turnip fries as well if you want them. I don't think I'll need them. that I made you the other day. Yes. Yeah? Tasted like cake. Tasted like cake. Well, I want you to try these ones and tell me an honest review. Like, I want full-on description. Like, be very descriptive, okay? Careful, because it might be hot. Descriptive words. I got cake again, but Cake again, but good. Yeah. Does it taste like a Yorkshire pudding? Yeah. You know? You like it? Yeah. You're all real, lad. I think I'm going to have to just sample my creation, to be honest. Let's give you a fair review, okay? So this one's like the smallest, doughiest one. It's not the highest risen one. Is that the best one to try? Maybe we should try this one, look, that's better. It's a bit more poofy. Oh yeah, look, crisp, comes apart. Oh, oh hello. This looks like a Yorkshire pud. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Spot on. If you're struggling with Yorkshire puddings, recipes in the description box from Mary.